Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn to load Landsat data in Python. Uh, for this purpose we are using Google Colab. Google Colab can be easily accessed from any browser. And this video is going to be the quick overview of the process. Uh, we are trying to learn a few things. So we begin with the specifying if we are really in Google Colab or not. And if we are in Colab, uh, this function will print we are running in Colab. And uh, if we are running in Colab, we mount the drive. Uh, that means Google Drive will be given access uh, for this Colab. And we create the folder. And if it doesn't exist, we create the folder. And then I have already uploaded the tar file. The tar file is uh, the Landsat 9 file downloaded from Ortho Explorer. And I have uploaded this in that folder. And here we are using this uh, function to, um, to extract the files. And we also provide the folder where the files will be extracted. Then we have the different packages and you can see here the unique style of doing this in Python. Uh, we often see this uh, being used and here the, the, the first one here is the way to install the Python packages and the second one here is how we uh, import those uh, Python packages And then here we are trying to load uh, band 1 to band 7. The T files will be used, um, will be loaded to this variable. And here we are using this GLLB. And uh, we need to create the XRE object. Uh, for that, we are uh, opening the Lancet band as this object and after creating this function we apply to the single band here and uh, that band is visualized and you can see this string here and this string is the way to use the um, way to use it uh, we use the package so we assign this string earlier. And we can also use uh, the save file. And we want to crop that image for our area of interest. So we load uh, this file. So this file, uh, this save file was again uploaded to that same folder. And here we're using this way to read the file. And we check if both of them have the same CRS and so the um, CRS is made similar here we're making the save file uh, CRS to the uh, Landsat bands uh, CRS and then we can pr uh, plot that so we can click uh, based on that save file so here we can see this clip uh, file being clip being used for the save file and after that here we are visualizing uh, our story area or our area of interest based on that save file And we can make sure that we want to visualize of only of those areas based on those values, uh, based on this uh, some value ranges. Uh, the visualization will be done, and we can also create uh, the new function here, doing the same thing as it was done before, but this time we are also doing the clipping 
brushed over within this same function. So all these things is being done within this. So we convert uh, the bands into the X array and we click uh, that band. So this is applied again. In this way, we are using the very first band and we are providing the save file to this function. And then we can create uh, the visualization of that single band. Uh, working with single band, uh, only working with a single band is not that feasible. Uh, we might want to work with uh, multiple bands. Uh, so here the for loop has been created and each time uh, the bands will be stacked. And each band will be added uh, creating the stacked band. And um, those bands can be visualized. So here we have the seven different bands. So again, visualization can be done with different ways. And the very important one is we can use the color combinations. So for that, um, the way has been done in this way, specifying different bands here. So we might also want to uh, calculate the normalized difference. And for that purpose, um, here we're using this dot normalized underscore difference uh, and using the two different bands and that band can again be visualized uh, by here um, by this function here ep dot uh, bands and we provide some parameters and we can see the NDVI of our area of interest and for uh, exporting the image or exporting that NDVI, uh, there are different ways. Uh, and for this purpose here, this uh, package has been imported. And we export uh, the NDVI by specifying the path and our variable name. And this is uh, somewhat a brief overview of the process and there certainly are so many things to learn so the further things uh, uh, further things that are really necessary to learn will be to learn different packages uh, that were being shown above and the other thing uh, would be to learn to download uh, data directly in the collab so for instance, uh, for this purpose, I manually uploaded the uh, Landsat 9 tar file in the folder. But there are other ways to do it uh, directly in Collab without uh, uploading or other things. Uh, and we need to check more examples and we need to keep learning. So hope this will inspire you to learn more. I hope so. So thank you for watching, thank you.